Pull your thing up. Is this? What? I have Preston Fist mic'd up tonight. Oh, cool. That's a good idea. Test, 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 test. Test, test.
And we're live here in the Lou. My name is Brandon Yonker. I'm going to be broadcasting the game here with you tonight. My son's name's Kobe Yonker. He's running the camera. Uh, it's our first go at this. We've been practicing with our local adult league games here. So it's a little bit of a step up for us. But we're going to see if we can't bring some of the action to you here live from the Lou tonight. So we should have a pretty good game here between Denison and West Virginia. Mr. Schaefer's over here taking his net, and so is the West Virginia goalie, Tender. And it looks like we're taking the ice. We're going to get underway here. And the opening face-off coming out. Dave Georges getting the drop going. Nick Watson on the officiating duties. Dennison stumbles around with the puck around the ref's feet, and before they almost dig it out, West Virginia gets a hold of it and throws it in. Bounces back up to the West Virginia D, and he throws it back into the Dennison zone. Bounces off the back of the Mid-City auto body net. Dennison gathers it up and brings it out, coming along the wall. West Virginia regains possession, throws it across ice. West Virginia starts bringing it back up ice and gets it into the zone but unable to chase that down in the corner icing is the call take it back the other way tonight's alumni night and hopefully we got a lot of alumni back home watching a uh, little Denison hockey here on the end of September evening in a fall night it's a beautiful evening here in North Ohio at the Lou Gibb Ice Arena the face off goes down and Dennison gains possession with almost a shot on net. Gets blocked. 
Throws it back down low. A little play along the sidewall and bumps it back up. 21's got the shot on net, and that was a good shot. Didn't go in. It was Thomas Kresk. Puck bouncing around that far wall over there. Comes back up to Thomas and gets another good shot on it, but a little wide. Puck rings back around. West Virginia clears the zone. And a little play along the Dennison bench, but Dennison comes away with the puck. Nice little bounce there. Oh, that was a, almost a really good. Still got possession of it. And with the shot on net, and West Virginia looks to be bringing it back the other direction. Nice shot on net and covered up by Schaefer. Good, good stop. Both teams get a change. And we still got 18 minutes and 41 seconds left in the first period. Packed house here tonight. Drop goes down, and Dennison comes away with the puck. It comes up ice with speed. Gains the zone. Play to the middle. Bounces off the goalie's blocker and covers. John Yavari looks like he's taking the face off here. Rough seat. Didn't see something he liked there. When, oh, Yavari had possession but lost it. West Virginia comes away with it. Gets stolen back by number eight. Oh, my list. Nick Salino with a nice keep in there. Comes in. Play along the board, knocks it back around to the other far side wall. Puck comes all the way back down into the Denison zone. Okay. Number eight, taking it up, ice. Oh, lost the puck. Oh, that was hard hit, folks. That's going to be something there. I don't think we got that one on camera, but he got that penalty fair and square. <laughs> so he's going to the bench and setting the tone a little bit there for some Denison hockey on a Friday night in Newark. So West Virginia is going on the power play, and I think we get the call here. Dave Georgis, one of the better referees in the area. Running the game here. And Nick drops looking for the face off down here. Dennis gains possession, throws it back up. West Virginia keeps it in. Little cross ice pass, little nice backhand pass down in the slot. Nice play, didn't connect. Good clear there. Finn Lewis coming in, making a little break up there and gets it out. Dennis and PK is on its feet here, moving pretty good. Not letting West Virginia get anything set up. West Virginia gathers the puck and brings it into... Oh, yeah, he was off sides. Brings it in the ice, into the zone. Oh, nice keep in there by number 89... West Virginia moving the puck around real nice. Puck bouncing around. 34. What do we got? A little, little hand pass here. Face off is going to go out of the zone. So both teams get a line change. Fresh PP, uh, power play and PK comes on. Dennison wins the face-off and gets a nice clear down to their side of the ice. West Virginia brings it back, regroups, throws it to nobody. Nice little play off the board there, I guess. Puck bouncing around. West Virginia gains the zone with a little bit of speed. So we'll take it down low, look to throw it in the middle of the ice, maybe. Just keeps working it down low along the boards. Good look set up here. Nice umbrella power play. Puck bounces around a little on him. 
Oh, it was right in the middle of the ice. That was a, somebody set up there in a high slot. That'd been nice, but they weren't there. Dennison gets the puck cleared. West Virginia sets the power play back up behind the net. Oh, a little stumble, a little bumble. West Virginia coming up ice. Nice check along the boards. And things are evened up. That was a nice power play kill by Dennison. West Virginia regroups and starts to bring the puck up ice. Puck bounces around. Dennison almost took that. West Virginia converts and gets it into the zone. Dennison with the clear. I... Uh, Printed out the roster earlier, but none of the numbers match up, so I don't have any names. But I'm, I'm picking through them as I can find the ones that match up with the sheet I have. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. It's a work in progress. So, so 15 minutes left in the first period with no score, and the games are pretty even. Both teams kind of feeling each other out. First game of a back-to-back. -back. Puck goes down. Dennis wins the draw. Gathers it behind the net and brings it up along the sidewall. Nice feed across ice, unable to convert. And Puck still got in there, but West Virginia chips it back out. Dennison's got some nice passes going, but just not able to get it moving. We'll bump it in the corners down there. As possession is gained by West Virginia. The Mountaineers trying to bring it up ice, but unable to get it past the Dennison blue line. Shot. Oh, nice pass. I think he should have took that shot, but good idea. 21 throws it back down low. That is Thomas Kresge. And that is a icing, and the faceoff's going to come back down to the other side. Dennison gets a line change. And see if they can't get something set up here in the offensive zone. I think I think Dennison looks a little bit faster tonight. We'll see if they can't turn that into some opportunities. West Virginia gains the puck, tries to clear it out, and they get it out. West Virginia Mountaineers get the zone almost. Really nice break up there by Thomas Wraith. Nick Salerno uh, brings it up ice. Nice shot. West Virginia's got a little bit of speed here in a little space. Throwing it back and forth. Long cross ice passes. Puck goes back down to the other end. And West Virginia throws it back up. Just kind of throwing the puck rink wide here. Big. Uh oh. And that's a nice play. Oh, what a save by Schaefer. Almost had just tipped it with enough with of it. He just got enough of it with his glove. Dennison gets the zone. Nice little chip down low and the pass. Cross in front of the net. Unable to get their stick on that. Oh. West Virginia just dumped a dead big red player into his bench almost. Dennis has got the puck down low. Nice little drawback on the toe drag. Puck's bouncing around. Somebody's lost a stick in the net's off its moorings. We got a broken stick out on the ice here. and We're waving everything off over here. I don't know quite what's going on. A little confusion down there in the uh, Denison offensive zone, but we got the face off coming down now. Nope. Mountaineers were creeping in a little there. Puck comes back to the Denison blue line, and they get a nice shot off. D man got a really nice shot. Goalie drug it back in with a nice glove save.
Just trying to talk Kobe into switching with me and doing the play-by-play -play in the second period. If you want to hear Kobe in the second period, just type it in the comments. We'll, we'll switch it. <laughs> Delete the comments are off. <laughs> All right. Dennison gets the zone and takes a shot on net. Nice glove save by Schaefer. He's been pretty sharp with that tonight. And the faceoff comes off to his left. Packed house tonight. Twelve minutes left in the first period. And faceoff goes down. And West Virginia keeps it in the zone. That was close. Thomas Kresge gets it cleared out there real nice. But West Virginia is able to keep possession. 68 skips it up and dumps it in. And Thomas Kresge, another nice breakout pass over there to number 20, Jake Dimovatova. Dimitova. Nick Podesta makes a play along the sidewall over there and comes back behind where Thomas Kresge is going to gather it up and send it back the other direction. Pass comes up to Jake Dimatova, who bounces it along the sidewall, and West Virginia regathers and dumps it back in. A little bit of cat and mice, mouse game going on down here in this end. And Schaefer covers. So... Got some nice communication going on down there. Guys are a little, they're talking about it. They're trying to figure it out where everybody's going. Well, the faceoff comes down in front of Schaefer's net. And we'll see if we can't get some action going here. Puck comes up. West Virginia keeps it in, throws it back down low. A little play behind the boards. Oh, that guy was turned the wrong way. Offsides, no. West Virginia gains possession. Throws a sharp pass cross ice. Number 92. And Dennison clears the puck. West Virginia throws it back down in. And number 16, Nick Salerno gathers and leads the charge. Nice play there along the board by West Virginia to keep it in. He's still dogging on that. Look at that. He got that all the way down there. Oh, what a pass in front of the net. Didn't connect. 41 Brady came in real nice from the point. Got a good shot on a little high. Penalty on Dennison again. And that's going to be another power play. Oh, that was almost a nice ricochet. Plass comes up. Dennison gets the play dead. Hooking is the call on senior. System. Different number. I, he's a senior. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, twenty three. Ethan Whip goes down, gets a nice shot back in. Good save by the West Virginia goalie. Always nice to get that shot on the penalty kill. Guys, West Virginia gets the zone with speed. Man on the backside. Nice save by Schaefer. He is whipping that glove tonight. I believe that was Ducalo. Weckle and Ducalo on the play there. So I believe. Puck rims around the board. I don't. I can't tell how much penalty time's left. Almost a good clear by 22. West Virginia gains possession. Throws it back up high. Eight with a nice little play down to Ducalo. And a clear all the way down the ice. Good clear there by number 22. West Virginia gets the puck back up ice, gains the zone. Guy in the Royal Road almost had a really nice play on that, unable to keep it on his end of a stick to be able to get a good shot off. Puck rims around the board. 
West Virginia maintains possession, gets it up on the sidewall, bad bounce off the skate. Number 17, Finn Lewis, gets it up ice. West Virginia gains possession and brings it up the ice. Denison's in good position not to let them get that zone with speed, but they get the zone and throw it over the goalie's net. Denison with the clear. West Virginia setting up behind their net and getting ready to reset up their power play here. Plotkin gets the zone, throws it cross ice. Brady keeps it in. And nice breakout pass to the wrong way. Dennison's got the puck behind the net, tries to get the zone cleared, is able to get it out. Nice play there by number 16 from West, Virgi West Virginia to keep it in. Along the side wall, a little battle going down there. Nice body positioning along the wall. Dennison comes away with it and bounces it off the roof. So, still clear. Gets, it, gets the play stopped. And Dennis and Big Red are able to get a line change here. As I believe we are back to full man. Puck goes down. West Virginia... Trying to make that play along the board there. Throws it back down low. Gets broken up. Is able to keep it in the zone. Throws it back down low. Turned into a shot. Kind of snuck through there. I don't think he saw that. I just think that was good positioning by the goalie there. Schaefer puts it behind his net. But now we got a play going on back there. Puck bouncing around the boards. Nice second effort there by number nine, 27. And... Puck just continues just kind of bounce back and forth between the two teams as they feel each other out a little bit here. Puck shot in hard, almost off Nick Watson's head. Might have been good for him. The Dennison gets the zone, going to make a little nice play down front. He had a stick on it, unable to get it directed on net, though. West Virginia is going to get a nice shot here, I think. Nope. Good break up there by 21, Thomas Kresge. He's been had some nice defensive plays all game. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful pass into the slot, but it was just a little behind him. He couldn't get a get a hold of it to get the shot off. Puck bouncing around. West Virginia's going to get the zone. Nope, we got another well, no, carry or something. So, seven minutes and 13 seconds left in the first period. No score. Pucks down. Dennison wins the draw. Number seven, Thomas Wraith gets the zone. And West Virginia broke it up, but Dennison maintains possession. A little trip there. No call, though. Behind the net, Wraith is dangling around a little bit back there. Puck rims around to number 22. Throws it back down low. Throws it cross ice. Oh, 27 almost was able to keep that on, but it bounced over a stick. That's 21. No, that's Kresge. Ice pass off the board, a little too strong. Comes back into West Virginia's possession. They draw it back into their zone, and they bring it back up. Nice little chip up. Lost the handle on that one, and Dennison regains possession. Puck goes off a shin pad and bounces out of the zone. Number 18 brings it up ice for Dennison, throws it back for the D-men to regather things and come back up on the attack. Nice little check there along the boards. I got the crowd going into it a little bit. Puck bounces down into the Dennison zone. They ring it around the boards. Comes back up to number 16. Trying to work it down into West Virginia. Puck bounces over three people and is back down in the Denison zone. 
West Virginia working that sidewall over there. Throws it up top. Shot goes on net, but goes off of number six, Charlie Whalen skate. Oh. Starting to get a little physical. You expect that with the Mountaineers. It's a little bit of a rivalry team situation. 15's able to knock the puck down out of the air and get it dumped down into the zone. West Virginia goes for a change. A little bump up in the corner. I'm not sure who that's on. I called it on the West Virginia guy. <laughs> Assistant captain for the Mountaineers committing the penalty down in the offensive zone. That is not a good penalty to take. He can do just about anything down there except make a penalty, really. I mean, he <laughs> I mean, just can't. Just. So, Dennison's going to go on the power play here. A little bit of an even up call by the refs there. I don't know. I don't. So, let's see if Dennison can get some offense going. Puck's dropped, and it bounces out of the zone. Number 27 skates back and picks it up and with a little bit of speed and starts to bring it back up ice. Nice pass cross ice to number 8, who gains the zone, throws it back up to the mid wall, throws it up to the top. Wraith works it back down low. Dennison just kind of working it. Down and high, down and high. Shot from up top. Puck bounces around. Oh! Oh, that was empty. I don't know how that missed. The Big Red retained possession. Pass across the top of the slot results in a shot out of play. The goalie was out of position for just enough time for something to happen, and it just didn't happen. So... Nobody wants to change. Eh, a couple of the West Virginia guys go off for a change, but the big red power play unit number one stays out there. Nice check down look in the offensive zone. Get let them keep possession of the puck. Play along the sidewall. Comes up to the top. Oh, nice shot from the side. One timer really fired off there. See with 27 gets another nice shot off there. Oh, that plate almost bounced around the right way. Just didn't have enough uh, speed on that puck to get up past the defender breaking it up that puck did nice shot West Virginia is going to clear the zone here and 26 seconds remain on the big red power play Thomas Wraith gathers the puck behind the net and starts to bring it up 17 seconds on the power play Dennison's going to get one rush here if they're good they gain the zone they work it around a little bit John Yavari throws it down low, and we are even. Whoa, had a nice number 21, Thomas Kresge, cutting in there real nice from the top. Dennison keeps working the puck down low along the boards, and it comes bouncing up and around. So it was pretty good maintained pressure there by Dennison. Got the ice, seems to have tilted the ice a little bit for him. Puck bounces in the middle of the net zone, and West Virginia throws it up and out. Almost a nice play to their man, but broken up by number 22 there. And the West Virginia tender covers, and play is stopped. Puck bounces around. 
West Virginia comes away with it for a second until Dennison regains it and gets a nice little shot on net. I don't think the goalie saw it. And we have a stoppage in play. Oh, we've got just under two minutes left in the first period. And unfortunately, I don't think our battery is going to make it the whole game here, but we're going to go as long as we can. Uh, this is really our first full game, and this battery is just not going to get it. So we're going to come up with a solution for that. We can't find a power source to just plug directly into the camera. So we'll see what we can come up with here. 16 with a beautiful shot from up top. That was Nick Soreno. Looks like we got a call in the ice, but... It... A little interference. So it looks like the Big Red are going back on the power play. Refs explain to everybody what happened, and play's about to resume. Puck thrown back in. Schaefer stops it, sets it up behind his net for the big red D-men to come back and gather it up. Off of Brady skates. And puck thrown back down low. Schaefer stops it and sets it back up again. Long pass crossed ice. Dennison unable to get anything set up here. They just kind of puck just kind of bouncing around on everybody, which is working for the West Virginia PK. There's a oh, that was close to being a five on three. Nice little touch pass out to 18 as he brings it up ice. Gains the zone with a little bit of speed. Pulls up. Throws it back up top. Number seven, Thomas Wraith. Throws across ice. Dennison moving the puck around a little bit here. Eight with a nice shot and a nice deflection down low. That was a good look. So I think what we're going to, when they come out and cut the ice, we're going to pull the battery and try to charge it. And hope everything starts back up for the second period. We'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll, we'll limp it along as far as we can. <laughs> if there's any alumni out there, hey. <laughs> so. <laughs> Puck play is stopped. And Dennison has... 52 seconds left on the power play with 24 seconds left in the first period with no score. Face off down to the left of Schaefer. Puck goes down. Get dangerously close to going off somebody skating into the back of the big red net. John Yavari brings it up ice, but the puck gets whipped back down into the Dennison zone. Eight seconds left in the first period. It doesn't look like we're going to get another shot here. No. So that's the first period. Well, 0.8 seconds left on it. Face off coming back down into the Dennison zone on the icing on the power play. So we'll take a break here at the intermission. We're going to charge, try to charge our battery and hope everything starts back up. We'll let you know. 